Hi folks, I'm here from Last Spinning Magazine with another unboxing video and I've been looking forward to this one. Oh yes, I have covered this band before on this channel and when I went through um, a more recent release of Cactus, for it is they, which was their first gig, which is on Pyramid Records, but this is the dog's doodars. It really is. Um, it is an eight CD set called Evil Is Going On, the Atco album from 1970 to 1972. It might only be two years, but this is the era when bands were released between two and three albums in a year. This is H&E Recordings Cherry Red box set, and it comes with all the bells and whistles you would expect. And let's dive in and I'll show you what's inside. Cactus, Evil Is Going On, the Atco albums 1970 to 1972. A two year period that warrants a box set. So many of these box sets cover such a small space in time, but it was a time when bands were making like two albums a year at least. So it's a larger than normal um, box set from H&E and Cherry Red to house these eight CDs. It comes with a good booklet, which I'll go out over last of all. And the albums are the one which had a different cover depending on which territory you're in, which is slightly innuendo-ish, I think you'll agree. The first album, some really raw rock and roll. And again, I'll, I'll sum up at the end about the actual band itself, but some great bonus tracks, fantastic album. Then one way or another, there's no gatefold sleeves here. I think these are all original single sleeves anyway. Um, so this one, the, the extra tracks are single edits and mono mixes. Restrictions, which is an unusual cover for the time, especially for a band like this. No extra tracks on that, um, but some very classic ones, Alaska and Evil on there. Hot and Sweaty. Did actually have some live stuff on as well, I think, originally, which has been moved over onto the other uh, discs, but some great live photos there. And then the four live discs, these two uh, first ones were included in the Wounded Bird releases uh, a few years ago, now out of print, but absolutely fantastic stuff. And especially this one, because it has no need to worry in parchment far from the Isle of Wight, or Atlanta rather. And then these two are new to this set from a totally different uh, concert, which I'll tell you about in the booklet. So eight discs. The booklet has um, some great photographs in it. It has all the information, all the credits for each each album is on there as well. So it should be played loud and absolutely should be. And the next way, one way or another, released in 1971. And again, I like the way they put the artwork for the various singles on the opposite side. You know, fantastic band, Carmen Apici, Tim Bogart, Rusty Day and vocals, and Jim McCartney, what a guitar player. What a guitar player he was, is even. Um, the next album, Restrictions from 71. And then we're on to Hot and Sweaty um, from 72. Absolutely fantastic stuff. And again, you know, the playing is superb. And then we have the, the live stuff. Now, the first two CDs, the stuff has been released before, but it's never sound as good as it sounds now. I can tell you that because I've cross-referenced the other stuff that I've already got. The last ones, um, CD 8, is from um, Gillingham's Buffalo, 26th of June, 1971. This has not been released as far as I'm aware. The sleeve notes are from Malcolm Dome. Another guy has sadly passed away, but again, very detailed. And these are from 2013, but they're still relevant. And these are the these are the albums you may have been able to find on CD before, but they've long gone now, really. So lots of information here. And again, it finishes on a picture of a picture sleeve from the past. So that is the box set itself. And now I'll give you a review of what I think. So that is Cactus. The new box set from Cherry Red H&E Records, eight CDs and great booklets, wonderful discs. What's the remastering like? Well, just to recap so that you know that I'm keeping everything um, above board here. My, the only stuff you could buy on CD, which I've covered in previous video, was Cactology, 
which was Rhino from the mid 90s, wasn't it? Good introduction, but they missed off loads of the, I think, the best tracks. And then Woundy Bird did these two discs. One was the studio recordings and the other one was the live stuff. There was no information really in it. Um, these are incredibly hard to find. Um, and I would say that I wouldn't even bother trying to f find them, to be honest, um, because the, it doesn't really give you any background and the tracks are kind of just not thrown together, but it's not a coherent approach to it. So this includes all of that, everything on here. If you were trying to buy the, the Cactus original albums individually, it would be very, very expensive. Everything is in here, but this also includes two extra CDs of stuff that hasn't been available before. And what's remastering like? It's awesome, it absolutely is. If you watch that previous video, from me, you know that there's the pairing of on the live disc for this from the I think it's the Isle of Wight Atlanta triple vinyl album from a long time ago. There were two tracks by Cactus on that record, which was Parchment Farm and No Need to Worry, which to me is is just the perfect segue of blues rock ever recorded, probably. The you know, the guitar playing on that, the that the emotion being drained out of that Gibson Les Paul is just jaw-dropping. Well, obviously those tracks are on here and they sound better than I've ever heard them, ever. So what's the importance of this band? They are important because every, all the eyes were on the UK, weren't they? Zeppelin. In America, everyone was just looking towards the UK, Zeppelin, Sabbath, Purple, whatever. And we kind of think of the USA. Um, I'm just parking Hendrix before anyone goes there, okay? And the doors, I'm not, we're talking hard rock here, okay? We might look at Mountain, we might. Um, but usually we, most people land on Montrose, the debut album for Montrose, which I've covered um, recently, several times on this channel. Um, and then we might go Van Halen and, and Aerosmith. But I'm talking about hard rock. And what people forget is that when Zeppelin arrived, plop, with, you know, the blues rock explosion that took over the world, Cactus were just 100 yards behind them in musical terms. Because in a way they were. And I, I, see, I see Cactus as the bridge towards Montrose. They are the bridge. They are, they are, we, they should be recognised more now for the importance they had on USA rock, all rock music overall. I really, really believe that. Jim McCarty, drum, uh, on guitar, was, I think, just as, just as good as Page was on on those on those rock tracks on that on that aspect of Zeppelin, he's and uh, I've mentioned that track uh, No Need to Worry and there's the, on on the live stuff here there's some tracks on blood blues stuff, it's just fantastic, and um, you know Rusty Day, fantastic vocalist no not like not like Plant, but his own voice very kind of more towards Rogers or um, you know a really raw blues voice and of course the two people in this band that many of you watching this channel or are fa or fans of rock music through the decades and years or even youngsters as well who recently joined Carmen Apici of course and Tim Bogart who would zoom off uh, you know and do like Vanilla Fudge and all the rest of it and have been you know Jeff, Jeff Beck and well, they've been involved with loads of bands haven't they and you know Tim Bogart's sadly no longer with us but the playing, the interplay, the interplay, the, the bass, the drums, the guitars, the space, the, the, the sonics of the whole thing, just the energised, youthful enthusiasm for just turning up and plugging into an amp and just going off down a blues scale. It's just fantastic. And, you know, some of the music on here is, is very adventurous. In case I've painted a picture of you think, oh, it's just 12 bar, it isn't. 
it's not 12 bar blues it's it's rock music they were really really experimental as well and a superb band and this is i think the best place now to start and finish your cactus collection because everything you need is in here and if you are new to rock music um, and this is a wonderful way of collecting the whole of cactus together and understand the evolution of rock on both sides of the atlantic that this band should be spoken about more and should be featured more because these albums to me are just superb and it's fantastic have four cds of live cactus absolutely fantastic really is so that's out now on h and e and cherry red records just brilliant so thank you for watching thank you for being here thank you for ringing that little notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos thank you to all my patrons and as a patron you get to see all my videos before anyone else plus some extra behind the scenes footage as well and thank you to yogi clive chris and andy and everyone who supports me stay safe don't absorb yourself too much in the news if you if you don't have to just play some music music is the doctor it is the healer and i will see you very very soon